There's a big benefit to the vaccine rollout you may not have even thought about. There are the obvious health protections, but the vaccine rollout may lead to the rollout of reemployment. The March jobs report blew past expectations as payrolls boomed by 916,000 and the unemployment rate dropped to 6%. Joining me on the morning show, hiring expert Casey Hasten. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. So the big question now, Casey, is we all want to return to normal, whatever that is. Can the economy keep up? You know, there are a lot of positive signs indicating the economy can and will keep up, including the new jobs report and drop in unemployment. Um, but I think what's really going to show us or tell us whether or not the economy can keep up will be the new policies going forward. They're really going to dictate, you know, how we navigate what the economists are calling an overheated economy. Um, but I believe pretty much overall, we're well poised and ready to handle it. So knowing I might have to reinvent myself, what jobs are in demand right now? So right now, interestingly enough, what we're really seeing is like industrial machinery, mechanics, manufacturing is at its highest level since 2018. Um, software developers, I'm sure with everybody staying at home, they're looking for those new things and new tools to help be effective um, remotely. Um, nurses, of course, nurses, construction managers, financial managers, um, and even school teachers. So let's talk about reinventing yourself, because the reality is a lot of people don't know where to start. So where is Go on the Monopoly board of job hunting? So I love that. And, you know, we're really seeing many people make a pivot as a result of the pandemic, not just because they have to, but because they have had time to reflect and realize there's more to life than a job they dread. Um, the first thing I recommend to my candidates when talking to them about preparing possibly making a change, is really to sit down and reflect on what you really want to do, what gets you out of bed in the morning. Um, and if you need help with that, there are career centers out there that offer assistance in helping gain clarity around what you want to do. Um, and investing in yourself in this way is is will help you make the right pivot. And then once you have clarity around your next career, you can make a plan on how to get there. And despite the good news we got in the jobs report, the hiring signs are out all over the place in the hospitality industry specifically. I have friends who own restaurants, manage hotels, and they tell me, can't find workers. People they chat with yeah. say, I just got my stimulus check, got the unemployment check coming in, I don't need to work. Well, that money runs out. Isn't that a little short-sighted? You know, we are absolutely running into this as well um, with our entry level roles. Um, and absolutely, this is short sighted because you're right. The money will run out and that job that was here today may not be here tomorrow. So what's your best advice for those job hunting right now? You know, with unemployment still high, companies are getting inundated with resumes for every posting with many of the candidates um, not being qualified. So, you know, this leads to hours of sorting through hundreds of resumes to find the qualified candidates. If you believe you are a qualified candidate, just remember, you know, there's, you know, people are getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of resumes right now. Don't be afraid to follow up after submitting your resume so that your name kind of bubbles up to the top. And finally, my best piece of advice, lean into your network. More often than not, it's more about who you know than what you know. And isn't there new opportunity for people who are 50 and above? Because there are people out there looking for people who have experience. Absolutely. And I would encourage you. And that's one thing that a little trick, you know, don't put dates like of graduation on your resume. And it's always important, like when you're doing your resume and you're sending it out, you know, list like the last 10 years in detail and then maybe in a subsection, put additional um, additional experience and kind of minimize that because that's one thing that I think, um, you know, people get, um, whoa, just lost my word. Hung up it, on. Some, <laughs> hung up on, yeah. It's just, it looks like there's so much experience, but if you do it that way, there's more likely that you'll get a call in for that role. Yeah, you're, you're highlighting your skill set. Casey, thanks for exactly. some good advice. Thank Have a great you. day. 820. Thanks.